This is a trading journal from a trader who is currently losing with an extremely low win rate and I found the reason why he is losing and there is also a very straightforward way for him to become profitable. And this is the good news for this trader. His system is performing profitable as we will see when we dive into his data. The question now is, how is he destroying his profitable performing setups? Before we dive into his data, I want to go to the sessions and I found something really, really interesting when we go into the sessions. For example, this one. He has a very, very detailed breakdown of his performance summary for this month. And those are really the insights that help me move through his journal and to really find out what is going wrong and, and how he could turn his trading around. So here he said he's way too concentrated on the money aspect instead of focusing on our multiple and making good trades. He said he took a lot of rubbish trades for this month. And here are the areas that he identified in his trading that are not going well. He's over trading and revenge trading. He's entering trades where the candle hasn't closed. So this seems to be one of his criteria for entering a trade. And he said that this has become a bad habit. He's breaking his rules. So he's taking trades without a valid setup. This is something that we will explore in a moment. He's taking a lot of low probability setups, going against the trend, weak confluence or weak entry signals. And he's often entering in the opposite direction that he feels would be the right one. So looking at this now, we go to the chart lab and this is pretty much the main problem for this trader. When we go to his setups, we'll see that this stands out. He has taken 26 trades where he said he doesn't have a setup. So those are pretty much random trades. And what you can see is that out of 26 trades, he have zero winners, 25 losses and one break even. So this is a total loss of 751 US dollar. Going to his whole journal, he's currently in a drawdown of 426. So if he would have just skipped those trades where he doesn't have a setup and they're not in his rule book, he could have already been profitable. So let's go to the equity graph. We open the filter and we only want to look at the trades that follow some system or some setup. And you can see he would have been profitable by now. Of course, there's still a lot of volatility and it's far from being perfect. But compare that to where he is currently, when we take a look at all of his data, it's a difference like night and day. He is currently in a major losing streak and this is a very underperforming journal so far. So this seems to be the biggest pressing issue for this trader. He has to stop taking the trades that he know he shouldn't be in. He has to only take those trades where he has a valid setup. That would change his performance completely. To visualize how often he is really taking random trades, what we can do is we go to the report and we open the calendar. And first, what I want to do is I only look at the no setup trades. And when we now go to the annual view, so we just click on this X here, this brings us to the annual view. You can see that March and April were okay. He only had two days where he had trades without a setup. May then turned out to be really bad. A lot of random trades. June and July, two and three days where he took random trades. August was again a very bad one. And September where he currently is also having two days where he took random trades. And when we're now in the trade analytics, still the filter for no setup is applied. We see his trading data. So total of 26 trades, 0% win rate, average loss minus 28.9, total loss of 750, average R multiple almost minus one, sum of R multiples, he's losing 22 R multiples. Although he is aiming for a three R multiple per average on his trades, and this is such a huge problem for this trader. I want to dive deeper and he said that he is taking suboptimal trades going against the trend and have few entry criteria. So for that, we can go to the custom statistic and he has one custom statistic called entry strength. And you can see that when he has very strong entry signals or strong entry signals, he's performing absolutely great and he is making money. When he is taking trades with medium strength or weak entries, he is losing money. Another thing that he mentioned is the trend. He's going against the trend. So when we take a look at his trend custom statistic, he has one that he has tagged pro trend and he is making a good amount of money here. Ranging markets are still performing profitable. But then when we look here, we can barely see it, but there are 44 trades with counter trend and it's more or less break even. So this adds a lot of noise and 
those are unnecessary setups. So it seems like the setups that he is trading, they don't do well with counter trend plays. Let's take a look again at the equity graph. We only look at all the valid setups. We don't look at the no setups. And then under advanced, we can take a look at entry strength. And he said that he's performing very well on strong and very strong. So taking a look at this, this looks already much, much different. He has 92 trades, still a relatively low win rate, but now he's profitable. He would have realized a return of 24% on only those trades. A total profit of 602. Remember, he is currently in a negative performance of minus 450 or something. So again, this is a huge, huge difference. And this should be a very big confidence boost for the trader when he sees that if he would only take trades that are valid, where he has an actual setup that he is trading, and he's taking good trades that have good, strong entry signals, those are performing profitable. So his strategy core is actually profitable and he could easily, well, not easily, but he could have been a profitable trader by now if he would just start avoiding the noise and the bad trades. It's not realistic probably to expect a trader to suddenly turn his trading around and completely eliminate all the trades that he know he shouldn't be in. But if he would be able to cut back on 50, 60, 70% of the trades that he is currently taking that he know he shouldn't be in, that would make a huge, huge difference in his trading performance already. And for traders like this, there is no need to really go any further. There is no need to look at the nitty gritty of the performance. The problem for this type of trader is very, very obvious and very clear. And as we have seen in his note, he is totally aware of his problems. He must stop taking random trades, stop over trading, stop revenge trading. How do you do that? One of the major things is, first of all, the findings that we see here in this journal can give traders a big confidence boost when he suddenly sees that he could have been profitable and how much this is destroying his overall trading performance. But then also a little bit more practical approach would be to try to implement better trading processes. For example, being a little bit better on his trade planning, on his chart preparation, on his general trading plans. How is he screening his charts? How he's managing his alerts? How he is drawing up his support and resistance levels? When he's coming to the charts in the morning, he's not rushing. He's coming in prepared ahead of time and relaxed so that he doesn't rush things. He doesn't chase the markets. And that would be also a very big help for this trader. However, I do have one recommendation. I looked at his exit analysis and what we see is the average updraw on his winning trades is 83%, which means that on average, the price on his winning trades moves 83% in his favor. However, the average exit on his winning trades is 55%. So he could realize around 30% larger winning trades. And it seems like he's often cutting his winners ahead of the target. And we see it here. Here, for example, the exit marker is well below the highest point of the trade. Here as well, this one, here, this one, this one, here as well. And there are a lot of uh, trades where he's entering very close to the entry and not optimally exiting his trades. And one thing that I have a recommendation for this trader is to start using his uh, trade management data. Let's clear the, tra the filters. And what we see is that his actual performance here in blue is taken out of his trading journal, but he's not completely using the trade management. Whenever you see that the chart and the line is going down like this, it tells me that he's not fully using his data. So we can click on one of those trades here in this just downward sloping line. And when we then go to the advanced data, we see that there is a trade that hasn't been hit with OTP has uh, yes or no. And just by clicking this OTP hit yes, no button, this will activate the trade management. So we go to the journal and then scroll a little bit to the right. And you can see OTP hit is often most of the time not used. He did use it in the past, but then on this recent trades, he didn't do that. When we look through it here, it looks all right. Here it looks good. And in the beginning also, he didn't fully use it. So if we would start using the OTP hit, this would really bring his 
trade management graph to life. And I would be really interested to see if he is mismanaging his trades, which means exiting his winning trades too soon. My suspicion is that he would see his green line be slightly above his blue line, which shows underperformance and mismanagement. However, this is not the first step for the trader. This is just something to do afterwards. It's a very easy thing to do. Just take OTP his, OTP hit yes or no. And then you will see right away if there is room for improvement. However, the most pressing, most important thing is that he stops taking trades that he knows he shouldn't be in. He has to take trades that are valid trades, skip the ones that don't have a setup, and that will stop his revenge trading and over trading. It will also make his trading way more relaxed by taking fewer trades, by having less noise in his system, and it will be much easier on his mental game and his trading psychology as well. Because this is very frustrating currently for this trader when he is taking always those trades that he knows he shouldn't be in. It's destroying his performance, but also his mental game. And by reducing the noise and reducing the stress, he will probably feel very different about his trading. He would feel much more enjoyment about his trading. He will be more motivated once he starts seeing his trading performance go up in the right direction. And that will have a spillover effect in many, many other areas in his trading as well.